pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Have a seat. <coughs> on the agenda is to approve the agenda. First, I entertain a motion to dispense with the audible reading of the transfers. So be it. Second. We have a motion by Bill Holt, a second by Sarah Brown to dispense with the audible reading of the transfers. Any discussion on that part? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Also, we have one resolution I thought I had sent out, but apparently I didn't or it got caught in my spam folder. Uh, do I hear a motion that we entertain the resolution? So second. Have a motion by Mary Phillips, a second by uh, Nikki Brown. And I'm going way fast. You can tell me to slow down. Okay. I got you. <laughs> to to approve the uh, the addition of the resolution. Any discussion? All in favor of entertaining the resolution tonight signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Are there any other additions or <coughs> subtractions from the agenda? Okay, do I hear a motion that we approve the agenda as amended? Make a motion for Second. A motion by Del Holt and a second by Brian Tatum to approve the agenda as amended. Any discussion? Roll call vote to approve the agenda. Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> Copies of the minutes and the financial reports. I uh, would entertain a motion to approve. A motion to approve is written. Second. And a motion to approve by Brian Tatum. A second by Nikki Brown to approve the minutes and financials. Any discussion? All in favor of approving the minutes signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, no county judge comments. Uh, do we have any county boards that wish to address the court or elected officials? And court, do you have any questions or remarks for any of the officials or department heads that are with us? Hearing none, we'll move straight into new business. Our first ordinance is sponsored by Justice Holt. Being enacted by Coral Court County Manager and State of Arkansas, an appropriation order to be entitled an appropriation order to increase funds and appropriate $6,000 into the line item 1000-0804-3113 Scott Van Cork contract. Whereas the senior center of Scotland has a need to complete repairs to remain open to the public and whereas the amount requested is appropriately half the amount needed to complete the repairs and appliance replacements and whereas a fundraiser was conducted at Scotland Senior Center to assist with the funding and whereas there is a need to appropriate these funds. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Coral Court of Amber County, Arkansas, that the sum of $6,000 be appropriated to lie down 1,000-804-3113 Scott Van Court contract. I move we approve this. Second. We have a motion by Bill Holt and a second by, do we want to flip for it? Nikki Brown to adopt this ordinance. Discussion. I just want to say on this that they did come and speak with us at the Budget Committee, and they, uh, this is for some repairs that is badly needed at the uh, center over there. They've got lots of stuff going out. The ice machines are going out. The stoves are going out. But they're, they're in a bad situation. So this is about half of what they really need. So. And I would just like to say that I appreciated the reminder that, you know, I think this is something important that the county provides services to the seniors that need it, so I was happy to be reminded of that. Agreed. Uh, my comments probably out of line, but I, I'm impressed that they're not just simply asking for assistance, they're also raising money on their own. Mm -hmm. They had a really good fundraiser, uh, a fish fry, it was very well attended, they did an excellent job with it. 
Appreciate that. Any other discussion? We'll call them. Holt? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Bass? Yes. Oh, 20, 22, 47. Which aren't you? Yes, Bass. Yeah. Our next ordinance is sponsored by Justice Nikki Brown. Be enacted by the Foreign Court of the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, an ordinance to be entitled, an ordinance to establish a county general sub fund to be called the Local Assistance Tribal Consistency Fund, mm -hmm. LATC, and to declare an emergency. Article 1, Affirmation. It comes before this court that there is a need to establish a county general sub fund on the books of the county to track local assistance and tribal consistency funds revenues made available to eligible revenue sharing counties under the American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA. This court recognizes and affirms the need for such a fund to properly account for and control all such revenues allowed and expenditures made. Article two, establishment of the fund. There is hereby created on the books of the Van Buren County Treasurer and the books of the Van Buren County Clerk, a county general sub fund to be known as the Local Assistance Tribal Consistency Fund, or more commonly referred to as the LATC Fund. Fund number is 1007 and the revenue code is 7112 as assigned by the Arkansas Legislative Audit. Any transfer codes, office department codes, and expenditure codes are to be assigned locally using the county financial management system per the direction of Arkansas Legislative Audit. Article 3, Operation of the Fund. The LATC Fund is subject to all normal county budgeting, appropriation, and expenditure regulations of Title 14 of the Arkansas Code antitated and the county financial management system. In accordance with the American Rescue Plan Act, the LATC funds are available for any governmental purpose other than a lobbying activity. LATC funds can be treated like general funds, revenue funds, or PILT payments. Proper records and documentation must be maintained on the use of these funds for the annual obligation and expenditure report until all funds are expended and for federal audit purposes. Article 4, Emergency Clause. It is found by this court that the receipt of the LATC funds is imminent, making it necessary to establish the local assistance and tribal consistency fund in order to properly track the revenue and appropriated expenditures. Therefore, an emergency is declared to exist, and this ordinance shall be in full force and effect from the date of passage and approval. Make a motion. We approve this written. Second. We have a motion by Nikki Brown and a second by Mary Phillips to adopt this ordinance. Any discussion? What is this? I mean, what is it that is? This is an ordinance that was authored by Eddie Jones. It's being run through all the corn courts. We're receiving more, uh, for lack of better terms, print and spent money by the federal government. Uh, we can either get it and use it, or we can turn it back, and somebody else can spend it. Uh, it's two, two amounts on two different years, one this year, one next year, for $162,000 in each amount. That can be used by the county? It can be used by the county. The, uh, this is a, the, the terms of this are a little bit looser than the ARP funds. It cannot be spent for lobbying. That's basically the only caveat to this amount of money. I feel sure we can put it to use. There you go. Any more discussion? Roll call vote. Holt? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Bass? Yes. Oh, 20, 22, 48. Thank you. Our next one was sponsored by Russell Hensley, and he is absent. Nikki, would you care to read that one for me? Sure. Being enacted by the Corn Court of the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, an appropriation ordinance to be entitled, an appropriation ordinance to amend the original appropriation ordinance number 2021-51, the annual operating budget for 2022, to increase the projected revenue and appropriate $100 into the Sheriff's Office budget number 1000-400 and $817.81 into the detention center budget number 1000-418. Whereas $100 has been donated to the Sheriff's Office for the Bucking for the Blue, and whereas 
$871.81 was collected from inmates for hygiene products and deposited into the Van Buren County Sheriff Commissary account. And whereas these monies needs to be appropriated into the accounts listed below. Now therefore it be ordained by the Corn Court of Van Buren County, Arkansas that section one, $100 be appropriated into line number 1,000-400-3104 canine program for the Sheriff's Office Section 2, $817.81 uh, be appropriated into line number 1,000-418-2009 in make supplies for the detention center. I make a motion we approve this written. Second. We have a motion by Nikki Brown and a second by Mary Phillips to adopt this ordinance. And to open discussion, uh, we have with us Matthew Beeson who would like to address the court. Before Matt comes, I mean, sure. go ahead and come up, but the totals are wrong. Uh, in the initial paragraph, it's 8-1781. In the whereas, it's 8-7181. And then in section two, it's 8-1781. So what is the correct number? Is it 8-71 or is it 8-17? 8717. Mr. Beeson. Yes, sir. Um, it was brought to my attention that uh, this ordinance was coming up. The um, It's Living the Line Productions, doing business as Bucking for the Blue. Um, I put on the bull riding down at the Barn Whip Ranch. We just had our fourth annual. Um, one of my sponsors sent a uh, check to the sheriff's office by accident. I spoke with Miss Bradford earlier today and Miss Deb Prout, who said it was a, that they sent it to Miss Misty by mistake and was supposed to correct it or is going to correct it. But the um, the check was never meant to go to the sheriff's office. It was meant to go to Living the Line Productions, doing business as Bucking for the Blue. And Living the Line Productions is a local nonprofit. So with that being said on that, is this something that we need to we need to amend this law? Because it needs to be something that treasure actually I, I, would, I would entertain a motion to table this ordinance until they get this model. Yeah, so be it. I, 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 I agree with that. Okay, so we have a motion by Del Holt and a second by yes. Brian Tatum yes. to table this ordinance. So they can get that figured out. Okay. We need this, any discussion on the table. Can you just clarify for the public why our table is? Uh, it was your motion, Del Holt. Why would you wish to table it? No, because it's wrong. Uh, it's not going to the proper person it's, it's supposed to be going to. And it's an incorrect number. And it's an incorrect number. Also. Okay. Any other discussion? Yeah, I would just like to make sure we confirm that that was either 817, 1781 or 871. <coughs> but either way, it will be taken care of. Yes. We just want to do it correctly. That's what we call a Scribner's error. <laughs> uh, roll call vote for a uh, table. Oh. Yes. Nicky? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Bass? Yes. Thank you, Sarah, for letting us know that. Yes. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, for our next ordinance, it was sponsored by Virgil Lemmings and uh, Sarah Brown. Would you care to read that for Virgil? Not at all. Be it enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, an appropriation ordinance to be entitled, an appropriation ordinance to amend the original appropriation ordinance number 2021-51, the annual operating budget for 2022, to increase the projected revenue of County General and appropriate $4,773 into the safety and maintenance budget number 1000-123. Whereas during the 2022 budget session, the part-time position in the safety and maintenance department was budgeted at 24 hours per pay, the current hours should be 48 hours per pay, and whereas additional monies need to be appropriated to cover the correct hours at the current rate 
rate at $11.25 per hour. Now therefore be it ordained by the Quorum Court of Van Buren County, Arkansas that Section 1, $4,433 be appropriated in the line item 1000-123-1002 salaries part-time and $340 be appropriated in the line item 1000-123-1006 social security. Make a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion by Sarah Brown and a second by Del Holt to adopt this ordinance. Any discussion? Mr. Sarah Brown. What happened is when we budgeted this last year, uh, it's Wanda, the part-time janitor. Uh, we put her in as, instead of 24 hours a week, as 24 hours of pay period by accident. Any other discussion? Roll call vote. Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Bass? Yes. O 2022-49. Next ordinance is sponsored by Justice Delholt. Being enacted by the Quorum Court of County Van Buren State of Arkansas in order to be entitled an ordinance to authorize the hiring of a part-time employee for the hospital maintenance fund and to appropriate the funds for the new position. Whereas the Hospital Board of Governors wishes to hire a part-time employee to oversee a construction slash painting project at the hospital and whereas the position will be temporary and whereas there is a need to approve the position and appropriate necessary funding. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Corp Court of Van Buren County, Arkansas, a temporary part-time position is approved to be paid from the hospital maintenance fund as follows. 3408-0302-1002, salaries part-time, 10,000. 3408-0302-1006, <coughs> Social Security matching, $765. 3408-0302-1010, workman's compensation, 250, for a total of $11,015. I move we approve this. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Del Holt and a second by Brian Tatum to adopt this ordinance. Before we open discussion, I would remind the court that this is one of those ordinances that will take three readings. Uh, I would entertain a motion to suspend the rules at this time to for the purpose of entertaining the next two readings at this meeting. So moved. Second. We have a motion by Mary Phillips and a second by Del Holt to suspend the rules. Uh, any discussion on rule suspension? No call vote for rule suspension. Holt? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Bass? Yes. Okay. Uh, Justice Holt, would you read uh, the ordinance by title only? Yes. For the second time. Be it enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Van Buren State of Arkansas, an ordinance to be entitled, an ordinance to authorize the hiring of a part-time employee from the hospital maintenance fund and to appropriate the funds for the new position. Okay. And Justice Holt, the third and final reading, please. Be it enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Van Buren State of Arkansas, an ordinance to be entitled, an ordinance to authorize the hiring of a part-time employee from the hospital maintenance fund and to appropriate the funds for the new position. Thank you. Thank you all for all the house cleaning we did on that. Open for discussion. Do we know who this individual is? We, I do not know who the individual is. And Donnie Collins messaged me earlier and said he had a sinus infection. It wouldn't be able to be here tonight, but I do have some information for you. Uh, there, the maintenance, the Board of Governors is going to be using the maintenance fund to do a painting project on the hospital. Before they apply a coat of paint, they're wanting to go through. There are some repairs that are needed in places that they're needing to hire someone to go through and say, this is what needs to be repaired, follow up, make sure the repairs are actually taking place in the way that they, they feel is right to maintain the, maintain the hospital. It would be several hours at the start to get everything rolling, and they'd just be spending a couple hours here and there to follow up. Have they already picked somebody? Not that I'm aware. Only in their their little packet that is sent out here, it does say that we found a person to help us with identifying the repairs and issues ahead of the painter. Okay. 
Okay. No, ma'am. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, and apparently the they didn't have a meeting. I guess Mr. Glenn Aday's mom passed away or something, and so that uh, they weren't able to have a meeting. They didn't have a quorum. So. I don't see how we can justify hiring somebody else, but can't get right to the people who've already got on board here in this office in this building. Hire another person. John, this is maintenance money. That's well, they've got maintenance money. people out there now, Dale, right? All right, yeah. Well, what, what's he do? I mean, it's not that complicated to go around and make a list of repairs needed. Yeah, they have, they have maintenance person out there doing other things. Well, they can do that too. And they just do it. Well, it's I, not that money in the middle of the. I, 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 I respect the discussion very much. The only difference is the uh, the maintenance people that are on staff work for the hospital. Uh, the Board of Governors is wishing to hire someone that would answer to them uh, for the yeah, uh, for answer to the county. county. Not the same. Are you saying the people on staff work for Ozark Health? Ozark Health. Yeah. And the Board of Governors want someone that works for Vanier County. Correct? That, that would answer to the Board of Governors paid out of the hospital maintenance fund, which can only be used for hospital maintenance. So, so I think that's a, the distinction to me, John, is that it's the hospital maintenance fund. So it really can only, can be, used only be used for purposes like that. It's not coming out of general. I don't see why I don't see why the board can go around making a list of what needs to be prepared. Because they don't need construction. I mean, they can make a list, but that they are in construction. John, they still have to hire somebody to do it. It's like doing an audit. You don't do your own audit. Somebody else comes in and does it. Yeah, they cannot do their own audit. That's a big no-no. They're just, they're just doing repairs. I mean, what needs to be done at the cell? Yeah. They got in trouble for doing their own audit. So they cannot do that. Well, I don't know in the time past, we've gotten in trouble. This court of court's gotten in trouble by hiring somebody and not knowing who it was. Yeah. And I, that's that's my problem. Right there. It doesn't I'd matter. like to know who's who's doing It's really a no concern of ours, it's the Board of Governors. Well, if, <coughs> you, you, if you put your okay on it, it, you, it is a concern of I understand, but who, who are you against them hiring? I'm, I'm not against anybody being hired. I just want to know who we're hiring. They may not have anybody yet. They may be looking at somebody. Well, evidently they do because. What did that, what did that say, Brian? Uh, no. It says, we have found a person. This is under number four, paint bid. They ain't got my glasses on it, so you don't have to be uh, We have found a person to help us with identifying the repairs issues ahead of the painter. We will meet the week of the 17th in review and hopefully put him to work. So they, so I guess they just met the other day. They haven't met somebody, talked to somebody. That's all it says. I, I can understand why you would want to know. I do. But you want to table this until we find out? I think it needs to table until we find out. Mm -hmm. He's going to be here and let us know. Do you know when they want to get started? I'm not against anybody having a job. Okay. But I just want to know because we have gotten in trouble in the past for hiring people that it didn't plan out. I agree. Did I hear a motion to table? I make a motion. I second. Okay. We have a motion by Mr. Bass and a second by John Bradford to table this ordinance until next month. And any discussion? Do we know if any of the repairs are? Are they timeline? Okay. Uh, I don't think it's in. I mean, we don't call the qualifications of the individual. I mean, True. Mr. Bennett, does he know anything about this? True. I can't disagree with that. Can I disagree? So in the past, we've got, like, I'm just trying to understand. Uh, we, we've been involved in who they who they hired, like we knew the name before? Yes. Okay. And we got in trouble because we didn't know. I, I'm seriously asking because I really don't know. The money was the money was gone and the individual quit. So, they did and, so we were stuck with a $10,000 bill. Okay, they didn't do the job? Huh? They, they didn't, didn't, they they didn't, didn't do the okay. job, no. Gotcha. 
They just have to quit, and the money was missing, and so we got stuck with it. Do you happen to know that person's name? I'm sorry? Do you know that person's name? I didn't know that Good. person's name. Good. You make sure not to hire that person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Any, yeah. any further discussion? Roll call vote to table. Holt? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Phil? Yes. Jeff? 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 Justice Holt, you get to read again. This is a Holt show. <laughs> being enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Amir State of Arkansas, appropriation orders to be entitled an appropriation order to increase funds and appropriate $522,000. I'll get that right. $522,000 into line item 2000-0200-9999. Transfers out. Whereas revenues for the county department, road department, are above projections, and whereas the county treasurer has released the amount for the appropriation, and whereas there is a need to appropriate the funds, now therefore being ordained by the Corp Court of Baton County that the sum of 522000 be appropriated to line item 2000-0200-999 transfers out. I move we approve it. Second. I have a motion by Della Holt and a second by Nikki Brown to adopt this ordinance. Any discussion? Call vote. Holt. Yes. Nikki. Yes. Sarah. Yes. Philip. Yes. Bradford. Yes. Tatum. Yes. Bass. Yes. O And our next ordinance is sponsored by Justice Sarah Brown. Be it enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, an appropriation ordinance to be entitled, an appropriation ordinance to transfer $7,500 from line item 1000-0401-3101 EPS Education Slash Prevention Circuit Court Division 5, Judge Foster to line item 1,000-0417-1002, salaries part-time, and line item 1,000-417-1006, Social Security Match, Public Defender's Office. Whereas there is a need to fund additional help in the Public Defender's Office, and whereas Judge H.G. Foster has agreed to offer funds from the Circuit Court Division 5 budget to make the additional help budget neutral and whereas there is a need to appropriate funds. Now therefore be it ordained by the Quorum Court of Van Buren County, Arkansas that the sum of $6,926.25 be appropriated into line item 1000-0417-1002 salaries part-time and $573.75 be appropriated in the line item 1000-417-1006. Social Security matching from the line item 1000-0401-3101 EPS Education and Prevention. I make a motion to be approved as written. Second. We have a motion by Sarah Brown and a second by Mary Phillips to adopt this ordinance. Any discussion? <laughs> Yeah, we're we finding something else we don't have to finance. Did they go to the state first? Who's running it? He's here. Would you like to approach the court, please? Yeah, certainly. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Did, did you go to the state? Did you go to the state first? The other ones that fund public defenders. Yes, uh, but the state has only a finite number of positions. In order to enlarge those positions, to create more positions, it has to go through the legislature. Our board and our executive director have been striving to accomplish that for several years now without success. Okay. Good presentation, but the counties are not, we're not required to, to fund these public defenders. That's very true. We're, we're, we're one of 17 counties that fund public defenders. We're 17 counties then, we're one of them. Uh, I like to attack against you. But I, think this, I think this, I'm not attacking you, but I mean, 
My head goes off you people because I know you're overworked and overloaded. Appreciate that. <laughs> Severely. But the state's got to step up and support this more. I can't agree more. <laughs> no, I know I agree with everything you said to me too. We're dealing, with the, up. we're dealing with a situation that has to be addressed in some way. Yeah. What would you do if it weren't for us funding? Keep trying to make do with what we got. Right now I've got um I believe check my cheat sheet. I've got five attorneys currently in, Plat in Faulkner County who are working primarily in Faulkner County who I'm having to assign conflicts to from here. And they are doing their best to carry that load additional to their very heavy case load in Faulkner County. But the problem is we have three judges doing criminal cases in this judicial district. Judge Foster is the criminal court division in Van Buren and Searcy County. We have the Judge Foster, Judge Clawson, and Judge Braswell all are holding court very frequently down in Faulkner County. So oftentimes when I have, for example, a part-time public defender who primarily works in Faulkner County assign conflict cases in Van Buren County, they run into scheduling conflicts because most, some of my people have not yet learned how to be in two places at one time. Mm -hmm. And some judges are not as understanding about that principle as Judge Foster often is. But that is the, that's the primary difficulty. The person I'm wanting to hire for 10 hours a week to take on conflicts here is my part-time public defender in Searcy County. Judge Foster is the judge in Searcy County. Judge Foster is the judge in Van Buren County. There will be no scheduling conflict because Judge Foster has not yet figured out how to hold court in two counties at the same time, although he's trying. So that's my plan and the, the need for this 10 hour a week position. Just, just a couple of questions here. Who assigns uh, as a public defender, basically, that's somebody that, that um, uh, you're the attorney for somebody that can't afford their personal attorney, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Who appoints, uh, just for the people, but who, who appoints uh, somebody to have a public defender? It starts with the judge who is presiding in the court. Uh, by law, a person who seeks to be represented by the Public Defender's Office has to meet the certain criteria. The first criteria is they must be charged with something where their liberty is in jeopardy. So if someone has a speeding ticket or something of that nature where they're not in danger of being locked up, they're not entitled to a public defender even if they may be facing other consequences. Again, the state has the state legislature has allocated the resources to exclude those folks. Now, there are other things that the public defender's office does, but we're just talking about criminal law at this time. The person who is in jeopardy, who seeks appointment of the public defender, has to fill out a detailed affidavit or certificate of indigency where they list their sources of income, their other resources, and also their living expenses and obligations. You know, obviously, someone may have a certain level of income, but they also have a court-ordered obligation to pay child support. That's something that's taken into consideration. And after the court, after the judge reviews those uh, certificates or affidavits of indigency, then the court then makes a determination as to whether that particular individual is eligible for the services of the public defender based on poverty. Once the court makes that decision, it goes to me and I assign someone to represent them from the people that work for me, with, or me. With that being said, when the judge assigns a public defender, tell somebody they're gonna have a public defender, do you have the 
the uh, ability or I guess opportunity to say no, no, we're not going to do that one. Well, I can challenge the appointment. Uh, for example, um, there occasionally we have a situation where I have information that the person may have not been completely honest in their affidavit. Okay. And if I have that information from whatever source, I've got some stories about that if you ever want to talk about it. Yeah, i got some pretty good ones. Um, I can then file a motion. I do file a motion very frequently asking the judge to review that person's eligibility based on the information that I have. Um, one of the, one of the uh, circumstances that comes up quite frequently is by Arkansas law, a person who's posted a cash bond of more than $15,000 is by definition ineligible for the service of the public defender's office. But our state Supreme Court has ruled that you can't deny someone, in spite of the statute language, the court can't deny someone if they didn't contribute the funds for their bonds. So if a family member, friend, the church takes up a collection and bonds them out of jail for $20,000, the judge still has to appoint the public defender if otherwise they are indigent. Um, now, there have been a few times when I've been close, <laughs> but hadn't quite got there to just saying, Judge, I don't have the people to do this. I can't appoint anybody. Not got there yet because I don't really enjoy spending nights in jail. Not got to do that yet, but the time may come. Well, it sounds to me like between the legislature and the judge and everybody else kind of in the middle, you know, you have to do what you got to do. So uh, I, I have my own mandate and I do my best to fulfill it. I've watched during COVID, I, I, I'm fascinated by this stuff, so I actually watched Judge Carnahan. Um, they also ask if they own any property yes. as well. That's on the that's on the required affidavit that they have they're supposed to fill out. Right. Uh, so. And again, I run into circumstance. I've got a lady in my office who loves she's not a lawyer. She loves to go to the uh, real estate records in all three counties and search and see if someone who's been approved for the public defender's office owns some real estate somewhere and occasionally we find somebody that has not <coughs> listed a piece of property that they own and when that happens i file a motion so judge carnahan does a good job uh, trying to hold people's feet to the fire yeah he, the way. he asks plenty of questions just out of curiosity how many cases do y'all get up here just wild pieces Oh, um, it, it varies from month to month, but I wish Miss Bird could have been here today because she could have told you. <laughs> the last or Miss Wood. Right. The last time Miss Bird was asked, uh, I'm not sure how many months ago, it was a few months ago, she was working on 81. Uh, that's her, that was her total case load Correct. at the time, yeah. But on a, when the drug task force goes out and around, does a roundup, we might get 50 or 60 in one day. Right. Uh, but absent those sort of anomalies, uh, I hate to have them throw a number out there and be wrong, but um, every court date we get these lines. And I've seen Ms. Bird in Fayetteville and she's phenomenal. I've seen those affidavits. I've seen those affidavits too. You've seen some of those affidavits? Yeah. Yeah. Very suspicious. Well, one of them I knew personally, so yeah. You were not correct. I mean, I ain't attacking you. I'm just telling you. We've had, I've had ex-wives close come into my office and say, "He shouldn't be represented by you because in our divorce decree, he got this, 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 and that, and it ain't on that affidavit, okay. which is a public record." And she went and looked. So, okay. <laughs> do we have any more discussion pertinent to the ordinance? <laughs> well, do you pay those uh, public defenders at an hourly rate? Is that the way they're reimbursed? Or? Yeah, the, the state sets an hourly reimbursement. Um, yeah. It's, for example, um, 
usually around forty to forty-five dollars an hour, or something like that. Um, <coughs> Ms. Cartwright, who is the person I want to take on this ten-hour-a-week uh, job, is my part-time public defender in Searcy County, as I mentioned. Um, she's a GS twelve pay, pay grade with the state, and she makes a little over $50,000. So I was wanting to pay her half that from here, but I just don't have the, the resources here, even with Judge Foster's kind of gift. Um, now, one positive for having this car drive is she already has insurance through the state. She already has retirement through the state. So we don't need, she doesn't want insurance retirement all we're just trying to pay her a little extra money for the work that I'm hoping that I can make her do any other discussion roll call vote Holt yes Nikki yes Sarah yes Phillips yes Bradford yes Tatum yes Bass yes oh 202251 thank you very much Next up, we have a resolution on Back to the Holt Show. Yeah. Being enacted by the Corp Court of County Banker in the state of Arkansas, a resolution to be entitled a Resolution to Appoint Warren Johnson as Van Buren County Fire Coordinator, whereas ACA 14 284 405 gives authority to the Corum Court to designate a county fire service coordinator. And whereas the county judge wishes to appoint Warren Johnson, who is currently serving as coordinator of the Office of Emergency Management, and whereas there is a need to confirm the appointment. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Coram Court of Van Buren County, Arkansas, that Warren Johnson is hereby appointed as Van Buren County Fire Service Coordinator. I move that we approve this resolution. Second. We have a motion by Bill Holt and a second by Nikki Brown. Well, it was actually those. I mean, oh, was it Brian Tatum? Tatum? Brian Tatum or Mary Phillips? I think it was Ed O'Malley. <laughs> Brian Tatum. <laughs> to adopt the resolution. Any discussion? Uh, do we know this Warren Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll do an excellent job. And I'm not questioning it at all. I just kind of what would that entail? What What does the coordinator do? The coordinator is responsible for making sure that fire departments are financially accountable and that they're compliant in all means for Act 833 and that their uh, finances are in, are in order since we have a fire tax. He can go in, look at any of their books at any time. Uh, he pretty much has the authority to do what he needs to keep them fiscally straight. Okay. That's great. They're also in between the, the, the county and the state fire coordinator. They work together with the state. Okay. I don't think, just kind of like the OEM does, but okay. fire service is different than the Office of Emergency Management. Have they had someone do this before? Uh, Gina did it in the past. They were combined. Okay. Any other discussion? I know we don't have to roll call vote resolutions, but we'll just keep it consistent. Roll call vote. Holt? Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Bass? Yes. R202250? Five zero. Okay. The next, <laughs> our next resolution is the one that was approved in the agenda to be added, and it is sponsored by Justice Brian Taylor. We'll try everything in the back. Uh, be it resolved by the Quorum Court, the County of Van Buren, State of Arkansas, a resolution to be entitled. A resolution authorizing the following project to be approved and for the project to be paid from funds received through the American Rescue Plan. 91 backup facility with an updated budget not to exceed $750,000. Whereas previous resolution number R2022-23 authorized up to $425,000 for the project and whereas the architect ran bids for the project, which ran much higher than had been originally uh, anticipated by the budget committee, and whereas the previous resolution did not account for a 
appliances and furnishings for the new space created by the project and whereas there is a need to approve the project with an updated amount. Therefore, be it resolved by the Corman Court of Van Buren County, Arkansas, that the cost associated with demolition, construction, architecture, furnishings, equipping, or otherwise related to the completion and operation of the 911 backup facility be approved with a budget not to exceed 750000 from October 20th, 2022 until the project is complete. Funds should be transferred into the proper line items to the Van Buren County Court order, which shall be prepared by the county judge and recorded in the office of the county clerk. Uh, approved as written. Second. We have a motion to adopt by Brian Tatum and a second by Mary Phillips. Any discussion? Just to update a little bit on that, uh, that original figure, of course, was about the architecture. When they got involved, it skyrocketed. Uh, and uh, we had the budget committee had an opportunity to look at the plans uh, a couple of nights ago uh, for this project. And I think it's going to be something that the uh, county and the community can be proud of uh, when it's completed. All of that. Also, um Correct me if I'm wrong, but if it's over a certain amount, the architect has to come in, which is why the number had to be raised. Correct. Well, we had to have an architect involved because it's over $100,000. Okay. And it's a building cost. Yep. Good discussion. Any other discussion? Roll call vote. Holt. Yes. Nikki? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Bradford? Yes. Tatum? Yes. Bass? Yes. R-2022-51. Do I hear a motion to approve the transfer? So I we have a motion by Mary Phillips and a second by Sarah Brown to approve the transfers. Any discussion? All in favor of approving the transfer, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Any public comments? Anyone wish to approach the court? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Second. Any opposed? <laughs>